What's going on guys? One model here. Um, enjoying some beautiful weather today. We're about 61 degrees here. Uh, Central PA. It's Thursday, March 16th. St. Patty's Day tomorrow. Um, out off work today. So uh, decided to uh, outside and enjoy some weather. And uh, right here on the back porch. Right here, the base of the mountain. There's a lot of people out today uh, enjoying the weather. Um, been hanging out, watching some uh, March Madness. I don't know if any of you guys, a lot of you guys probably don't get into basketball, college basketball like I do. But if you do, enjoy it. Uh, there's been some upsets already today. But on the video here, I wanted to bring you something a little different. Um, took a trip to the old Walmart today. And uh, of course, we're going back to Canada fishing. Uh, like I said, I've been going up every year since I was seven. Every year, of course, with the exception of 2020, 2021, and last year, 2022, because of, yeah, it's COVID. Um, the first year, you weren't allowed to cross the border at all. The second two years, 2021 and 22, you were allowed to cross if you got the clot shot. And uh, me and the rest of my family members and friends who go up refused to get that. Um, they opened the borders now for this year. They opened them back in September, so, uh, vaccine or not, you're allowed to come up. So we're going back up. The last week of June, we'll be going back up to Canada. That's the first week of bass season up there. Um, so I'm pretty pumped. And, uh, last few years, well, actually the last 15 years of my life, I've been fishing with some older bait casters. I have a really super old Ryobi from the 50s. It was my grandfather's. He actually rebuilt, uh, put new bearings in it and everything, springs, uh, tensioners, guides. I've been using that with a probably 15-year-old Bass Pro rod. And they, they still works. And then I have a cheap, uh, I have a cheap uh, Shakespeare, just a Walmart special, a super cheap Walmart special. Today I went down. Uh, one of the thing, two things I ordered online, and I had to go down and get some line. I picked up a rod at Walmart. Uh, I got some some bait, some artificial stuff, and the reel online. And I'm going to flip you around and check out what I got. Now, as you see in front of me, these are the, this is the reel. There's some, some lures I ordered, and we'll open these in a minute. This is the line I got for the reel. It's the vertical trilane, the XL, 12 pound smooth casting. Uh, it's the low vis green. Trust it. I remember when this stuff, I used this forever. I like strand. I, I'm, line's line to me. I mean, if you straighten it out, pull it, and, uh, matter of fact, I'll do a video on that maybe tomorrow. But any line can be smoothed out to where you don't get a lot of bird nests. There's not a lot of twists when it's brand new. I mean, line to line is line to me, but this line I've been using for years. I remember when it was like four bucks a spool. This shit's like 10 something now. Crazy. The rod I got. The Ugly Stick GX2. I didn't even take anything off of this yet. This is seven foot medium action uh supported up to uh, between eight and 20 pound line uh, the one piece has eight eight eyelets one two three four five six seven eight and of course the patented ugly stick clear tip uh, this has sensibility fibers built in it which gives you a better feel uh, nothing wrong with an extra sensitive tip, <clears throat> by the way. <laughs> but anyway, let me uh, pause you guys. I'm not setting up a tripod. This ain't going to be a real long video. Of course, I always say that, and they always end up long. But 
I don't. I didn't open any of this. Nothing is opened. So you're gonna come with me, and we're gonna see what this reel looks like. Let me pause you. I'll open this stuff up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Got everything out of the pack. Took my labels and my wrap off my rod. Let's get into the lures first. This is a 20 pack. Yes, they're made in China, apparently. Unless it's the bag, I don't fucking know. I do not care, these work. Now, this was from eBay. These are what they call, this is a beetle spin. Uh, they're one of my favorite lures. Uh, besides like minis, night crawlers, rooster tails. And you got your beetle spins. These are killer. Now, these are a, uh, let's see, my hand. Uh, come in packets, individually packaged, but there's 20 of them here. I think they're like 16 bucks for 20 of them. Comes with the, uh, of course, the worm. Comes with the jig head, the jig body, the jig head. Um, the jig spinner itself. It's ready to go. These are already made up, pre-made. So, these are a size, well, size zeros and size ones. <laughs> They've come out to about an eighth of an ounce. Now, I'm not only going to use this green color. I have a bunch of other jig bodies. And I got a bunch of other size jig spinners too. I just mix and match everything. I just bought 20 of these. So, I mean, you have 20 jig spinners right there. If you want to replace it with a different colored body, it is a, it is a steel head. They're not lead, they're steel. Um, but I mean, these work good for anything from panfish up to smallmouth, largemouth. I've even had some smaller pike hit these already. Um, uh, walleye too. Um, walleye don't really mess with the smaller ones. They're usually geared towards the bigger ones. But for 16, 17 bucks, can't really complain. You have 20 jig bodies, 20 jigs, spinners, and uh, I mean, you can mix and match whatever you have. So it's pretty good value. Now let's get to the reel. I decided to go with the Cast King. This is the Royal Legend 2. Um, this is what they call a low profile uh, bait caster. So it sits down on your reel, it doesn't sit as high off of your reel. As you see, they're out of Garden City, New York. Of course, like 95% of fishing reels in this country, they are imported from somewhere in Asia. This one's from China, unfortunately. This is a 7 to 1 ratio. And it's a left-handed reel because only communists reel with your right hand. I'm joking, but if you're right-handed to me, you grip the rod with your right and you reel with your left. That's just always been comfortable to me. But anyway, that's a pretty nice box. This is a CST category. But, um, let's quit talking and see this thing. Yeah? It's a nice box. There's a service website if you need it. There's a warranty. There's a uh, you can register it. All part of the inner circle. Flip this open. And there she is. Let's get her out of the pack here. Let me set you down quick. Let me get this propaganda out of the box. this up for the first time 
super light. I can't remember what it said it weighed, but that does not weigh much. Um, it doesn't weigh much more than that box of spool, that spool and that box of line, honestly. Good look at her here. Royal Legend 2. Very nice looking, very clean looking. Twelve pounds. Hundred and ten yards is the max for this. Although I have seen people online. This is actually rated from eight to fourteen uh, pound test on this reel. So I just went in the middle with 12. I don't know why they have 12. Maybe that's the preferred. I bet you that's the preferred line. So good. I got the 12 for it. That should be optimum uh, poundage for this. There's the amounts on the bottom where it goes on your rod. Five plus one bearings, which is very standard nowadays. Some are four plus one. You see threes and three plus ones. And you even have twos and the cheap old singles, which they all work. They just a lot of them don't last. This is your tension over here. Uh, it goes from one to nine, or uh, well, from zero to nine. It's really zero to ten because max is ten, and then minimum zero. I always set these bait casters right in the middle. You know, when I first uh, start fishing with it. Let's see if that set it. Is that set at zero or is that set at six? Yeah, they had that set at zero. So I moved her up to five. We'll get this on the on the rod and try it, but beautiful looking reel. Yeah, let's see if I can set you up just for a quick quick second here. If I'll be able to get this in the frame or not, but it spins very free. Locks up real nice and not hard. There's no play at all. And uh, these cast kings come with these padded, uh, these paddled, foam padded handle grips. I don't mind them. Some people hate them. They like the plastic or the wood. I don't mind them because my hands sweat and uh, that'll soak up some of that sweat. It's kind of like a uh, like a glove. People wearing football or whatever. Very nice. Can't wait to get it on the rod. Had that propped up against my box there, so hopefully you could see that. If you couldn't see a damn thing there, I apologize. But very nice looking. The red and black, which I love. For, uh, of course, Georgia Bulldog colors, but I was getting it either way. Over here you have your... Uh, your drag that's what the spindle thing is here very nice and there you have your this is what they call a line eye when you spool this uh, unlike a spinning rod or a spinning reel you you can spool these off of the rod However, I always found it easier to actually mount the reel on the rod. And if you have a two-piece, you can break it in half and just use the bottom piece, but run them through at least a couple eyelets so you have some tension. It makes it easier to spool, I found out. Um, now, 
I will probably just I'll just put this on I'll just put this on the rod and we'll just run it through there you when you have it on a rod you run it you run the line down through and then onto your reel and then you tie it now this is going to be a little difficult spooling bait casters can be a pain in the ass and this one if you look at the spool itself here a lot of bait casters i'll say a lot but a good amount of them have holes in these spools where you can run the line down through because you got to wrap it around this and tie it you know so that when you reel when you're putting the line on your spool it catches so you can actually wrap it and a lot of bait casters have holes where you can run the line down through it and then bring it back up around tie the knot you actually run it down through turn your handle and it'll bring that line up to where you can grab it and tie a knot this one does not have any holes so i'm going to have to feed that down through you know it'll come it'll come in this way down around i'll have to feed it down around when it comes up i'll grab it and tie a knot so where would you have one if you would have one with holes in it just run it through run through your line eye right there so you bring it in this way through your line eye down under the spool and then up around tie the knot that's what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to feed it through but i can do it i mean i've done it before it's just this is a little bit more tedious it's much easier with the holes in it that's not a big deal but that's a uh that's a look at it guys a new cast king royal royal legend 2 and cast king's been around they're kind of new been around what 10 11 12 years uh, people are going to ask now why didn't you just buy the combo with the cast king rod um honestly i just wanted to try something a little different because i have had cast king rods before this is the first cast king reel that i have ever owned i've used them before i've tried them you know, some family members and some buddies of mine had them and still have them they're very very nice reels super smooth um now of course the smoothness goes with your line you got the right line the right setup that's where you got to match your reel poundage with your with your rod i mean it's not going to ruin anything if something's not synced but it's a world of difference if it is synced up poundage wise um i have one cast king rod and i really like it they are just to me they're expensive for what they are when i think the ugly sticks are just as good if not better and i do not have a bait caster ugly stick rod so that's why i went to gx2 absolutely love the ugly, ugly stick gx2s now they're made by shakespeare i'm a fan of shakespeare itself too their stuff is kind of chintzy and cheap but me personally i've never broke a shakespeare and i've caught some big fish out of the river on them I'm up in canada on cheap walmart rod shakespeare's so again that's a personal preference thing um but i think it's going to be a good combo for the color is going to match red and black and uh, you know everything poundage wise and line weight wise is synced up now when i throw lures on this the rod is rated from a quarter ounce up to five eighths ounce you know weight heaviness of your lure that you're throwing or whatever bait you may have pay attention to the lower side of that if you throw something under quarter ounce on this like say if you throw an eighth or a sixteenth ounce you're gonna have some fucking issues you're gonna get bird's nests you're gonna get backlashes you're gonna get knots and that's what really deters people with bait casters i'll show you tomorrow how to take care of some of that when i spool this up and show you but the top side the five eighths ounce don't really pay i mean honor it but you can this could handle an ounce like i wouldn't go over an ounce 
seven eighths is good an ounce is good don't go over an ounce so really optimal is quarter to five eighths really quarter to one ounce you'll be fine oh you get anything over that it's going to put weight on your tip your tip's going to bend that's going to put more force on your reeling on your line and on your rod um and that's just asking for trouble especially with a bait caster so i mean that's the setup guys that's a look at the cast king royal legend 2 another quick look at her So it's gonna look on the rod. I'll show you tomorrow. I'm gonna do another video. I'll put a line on this and I'll show you a trick the bait caster line. Uh, another quick look at the old ugly stick here. We'll get her uh we'll get her rigged up for you tomorrow. And uh I'll show you guys a little tip, but that's my setup. I'll show you it put together tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment if you have this reel or any casking reels or your luck with ugly sticks or beetle spins or whatever. If anything relates to you, you like the video, leave a comment. Feel free to like and share.